Hey everybody, I'm Karina, and today I would like to share with you one of my favorite toppings and salsas that I have developed over the years and I use very regularly in my health and wellness journey. So let's show you guys how easy it can be. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Fit Me Plus Three. I'm Karina. If you're new with us, welcome. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe as we're back for you three times a week with new videos. Additionally, if you're not new, as always, I appreciate you for watching and I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Today, I wanna share with you one of the things that I enjoy doing in my health and wellness journey is trying to home make with fresh ingredients as much of the food and toppings, if you will, that I consume as possible. With that being said, we try to make salsas at home because salsa you can almost put on everything. Uh, and my eggs, my potatoes, my steak, my chicken, my rice, whatever it is salsa is something that I feel is very versatile so we like to make salsa and over the last couple of years I have developed this recipe and tweaked it here and there until I really just found exactly how we wanted it to taste with the right amount of heat <laughs> today I want to show you guys how easy it can be we're making green salsa today I have my tomatillos that we got from the imperfect foods box this week because our plant is not yet producing in the garden and it's very simple the ingredients are super Super clean. It does take jalapenos. I sometimes will substitute serranos on top of jalapenos because we like a little bit of extra heat. It takes fresh lime juice. We have the limes here, an onion, and cilantro. A little bit of salt to taste, and that is literally how easy it can be to make your own salsa verde at home. I'm going to be using my food processor in order to combine all the ingredients and get them into a salsa consistency. And then I will be putting them in jars in order to have one ready for the fridge. And then I also will be canning the rest of them so that they stay good for six months. I can't wait to show you guys how easy it is. Let's get to it. So first I would put the tomatillos into the broiler so that they can get cooking. Uh, it takes about five minutes on each side. That gives you the opportunity to start chopping up your herbs and your cilantro in this case, along with the peppers. Remember that your chopping here doesn't have to be perfect because ultimately it is going into the food processor and therefore it's going to chop it up. But I do find that chopping them into finer pieces then rather than sticking the whole pepper or any other ingredients in does make a difference for it to process a little easier. Also remember the majority of the heat in these peppers is in the seeds, therefore I usually throw away about half of the seeds and keep half the seeds because I'm kind of a wimp when it comes to spice. But at the end of the day, the longer that the salsa sits and these seeds sit in it, especially if you're canning or keeping them for later, the salsa will continue to get hotter. So just be mindful of that when you choose how many seeds from your peppers you choose to keep in. Remember to roll out your limes before you cut them. That way you can get the juices flowing and they're ready when it's time to squeeze. You'll probably notice as I'm cutting the onion and as I cut the peppers that I wear gloves, I personally don't like having the smell and the taste of onions or peppers on my hands all day long. And I find that just throwing on a pair of these gloves helps me to not have that all day. And I don't have to worry about <laughs> rubbing anything into my eyes or touching my face with the peppers on them throughout the day. Once you're done, it's probably about time to flip these. And then as you can see, the sides are charred just a little bit, which is perfect. I would say to process these first and chopped ingredients just quickly before adding the rest. Let the tomatillos uh, cool off just a little bit so you don't burn your hands, but get as many as you can into the food processor to start the process of getting it all together into your salsa consistency. As you can see, it turns into a salsa consistency pretty quickly uh, because of the juices that are in the tomatillos.
Don't forget your salt for taste, about one and a half teaspoons, and definitely don't forget your lime juice, about one and a half limes squeezed. Then just give it one more good mix and taste before the finished product moves. <laughs> As you can see, I use a ladle along with a funnel that is specific to my mason jars, which makes it way less complicated in getting the salsa in the jars. Because I was gonna can them at a later time, I do leave about one fourth of an inch before the top of the can in order to make sure I can can them properly. Our salsa is done. It smells so good in the kitchen. Smells like all of the fresh ingredients we put inside. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. I'm gonna try it for you. Looks like we made about three different cans, uh, or excuse me, three full mason jar cans of the salsa. I'm going to put one of these in the fridge, two of them I will can and show you guys at a later video, so make sure you come back for that so that they stay good for about six months. But we're gonna put them in the fridge. That does get a little bit thicker after it's been in the fridge for about 24 hours. And I personally like my salsa to be cold. I don't know why, but when I'm topping it on things I just do. If you wanna try this recipe at home, we will put the ingredients in the description below. So please try it and let me know how much you liked it. I'm gonna have the boys try it out because usually they're the best taste testers. Come here guys. Tell the camera thumbs up or no thumbs up. Good job. All right, let your brother have some. Come on, one thumbs up or two? Just one, no two? All right, next time. All right. Kinda good. All right. The boys said it's good. I've tried it. I'll try it again for you. Mmm, so good. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. As always, I appreciate you for being here with me. Woo! The spice kicks in a little bit once it goes down. But at the end of the day, I love you guys for being here. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. It's a quick, healthy way to just have your own condiments at home to top on any of your foods, especially if you're in a health and wellness journey. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We will see you guys next time, and we'll see you later.